Rose. Welcome back to Journals in Time and welcome if you are new. I have a new kit for you guys today. Hooray! I am so excited about this. It is called Simple Pleasures. It is 20 pages. Well, actually, it's 21 pages. I gave a little sneaky bonus in there. Um, it's 21 pages of yummy, yummy, um, soft, shabby chic-ish um, papers and ephemera and all the rest of that. This is a fabulous kit going from spring into summer. I am loving it. Uh, I just wanted to work with pretties for some reason. I just had an urge to work with the pretties. Okay, so let's get into it. So there we have the cover page. Then we have this beauty. So the whole idea of this kit was it's centered around simple pleasures. Things like swinging on a swing, uh, doing some art, things like that, okay? So all of the um, images and the, the ephemera and all that sort of stuff will all kind of tie into that. So we have this little girl swinging on the swing. Doesn't she look so happy and pretty? And we have this lady with her album. I'm going to say, oh, she actually does have an art box in her hand as well. So she's going off to do some art. Some Winsor & Newton um, ephemera in the background here as well. Love that. And a paint swatch card. And now I have printed them back to back. I will come back and show you the back sides of them in a moment. Okay, so then we have this beautiful page. This lady is going off gardening. Beautiful, beautiful blue hydrangea down here. Then we have a little kiddo with some puppies. I mean, what simpler pleasure is there than an apron full of puppies? <laughs> And some pretty flowers. Um, there's some French text going on in here. Oh, just love it. Um, this lady is sketching in the garden with her dog. Again, some Windsor & Newton ephemera up here. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And I just, I love it. This is my favourite page in the kit. I just love it. It is so pretty. So pretty. Um, beautiful roses here in the corner. Absolutely gorgeous. Then we have our lady on a bicycle, she's going off for a bike ride in the country. And our two ladies dancing up here, beautiful. And we have a lady in a rowboat with her doggy. And we have some little girlies over here in the corner. They are feeding the ducklings and picking flowers. Absolutely adorable, adorable. Then we have this page. I loved this image. Um, and it's the perfect idea of a simple pleasure afternoon to me. They're off down by the river. He's fishing. She's working on her own stuff. She's actually doing some needlework. And they're having a picnic. How just idyllic does that sound? I love it. And I've made this into a writing page on one side. Just going with the shape of his fishing rod here. And I think that would make a fantastic uh, centre page. So there's that. And I'm going to go back and show you the backs of these. So this is a kind of a background page. These ladies are all in the garden. These two are just walking their friends and they're walking with the dog and there's a, a swan and a little girl there with the swan. Just a beautiful image, that one. And these two girls are picking flowers. I think this is a John William Waterhouse image, but I'm not 100% sure. So yeah, love that page. Absolutely beautiful graphics going on in the background with that one as well. Um, background page taking some of the elements from throughout the kit. Another lovely floral background. Beautiful. And this is the background to this page. Now, I did not print them like that deliberately. That's just the way they came out. So I've taken the background, I've added a border along the bottom and that will make a beautiful background page in a journal. Love it. Like I said, that's my favourite page, I think. Then we have a beautiful pattern page. Gorgeous roses again. And we have the collage page. So a lot of these elements are actually, you can actually cut them out. So, yeah. Loving how that one came out as well. Okay, so then we're into the ephemera. So we have three very large tags. Love them. And they all have ladies on them doing something simple. Uh, so we have two ladies bathing in the river. And then we have this lady playing her violin. And then this lady is walking along the seashore. And again, we have elements from throughout the kit on those. So they coordinate 
very nicely. Beautiful. Then we have four smaller tags. And we have here some hole reinforcers. Two different kinds down here. And a couple of pretty, pretty labels. So this um, graphic actually says Simple Pleasures. I was absolutely stoked when I found that. <laughs> so yeah, that worked out perfectly. Oh, and the other ones, the other one says under the apple tree, sitting under an apple tree in an orchard, reading a book. Absolutely fabulous. I, I kind of, <laughs> I was dreaming a lot about um, just idyllic summer days, I think, and spring days when I was making this kit. Okay, so we have a, a, a page full of pockets here. These are two larger pockets that will fit across the bottom of the page. Two corner pockets here and two small pockets here with little V openings. Okay, so that's those. Then we have envelopes. We have a coin envelope. We have a regular envelope. Um, we have some journaling cards here and a little piece of ephemera down here in the corner. We have some photographs. I am just loving working with photographs at the moment. I, I just, I don't know. I, to me, it really makes the journal come alive when you use photographs. So, yeah, loving, loving those. And just for those who are in the know, I will point out, this is actually Queen Elizabeth as a child, just so you know. So that's that. And then we have a page of fussy cuts and some border pieces for you. Love them. Some ephemera pieces. We have postcards and all sorts of things going on here. We have more bicycles, singing around the piano, picking blackberries at the seaside, fishing, reading under the trees in a hammock. Oh, love it. And smelling the flowers. Okay. Another page of fuzzy cut objects and things like that. Two ladies here. This lady is going off on a hike. She's in her canoe. A little girl down here reading a book. We have sewing machines, books, gazebo, all sorts of things. And we have a bicycle image down here as well. And then this is kind of the bonus page that ended up in the kit. This is page 21. And it is a page of labels. Now, I have given them in this size. And these are all the same words, just in a smaller format. And I have given some blank labels down here as well. Pen pals, a good book, a walk in the woods, bicycle ride. So, yeah. All fabulous stuff. Okay, so that is the actual kit. Just find my cover page here again. It is available on my Etsy shop as we speak and it is 30% off at the moment just for one week. So if you do want to get this kit, now is the time to hop over and get it at 30% off. Okay, now as always, I've got some freebies for you guys too. Okay, so there are three freebie sheets. Um, this is one, this is a larger image of those ladies dancing and this lady here, she's playing the piano for them and we have some beautiful uh, flowers down here with some overlay and all the rest of that. I think that will make a fabulous image as well in a journal and I actually think it would make a beautiful center spread in a journal. Okay, so that's one. Then we have a kind of a background page. Very, very pretty. And we have a page of teeny ephemera as well. Okay. So lots and lots of different ephemera pieces going on here. They, they will be fabulous for decorating tags and pockets and all the rest of that. Now the pages underneath here, I just wanted to point out, I have gone and I have been printing a kind of two to a page, three to a page, that kind of thing. So these two were the tag images and they were both printed two to a page. Okay. So we're going to have some smaller tags to work with. And then on this one, I've actually printed nine different pages to one page. So I've taken some of the, the double page spreads and I've made them much, much smaller. And we'll be able to use them as journaling cards and things like that. We have some really, really teeny ephemera here. I just, I, I kind of, they're probably too small. I think two to a page for those would be the smallest I'd want to go. But I just wanted to try it out and see. And then these ones are beautifully sized. So I have the photographs and some of the larger ephemera pieces here as well. Okay, so that is the kit, guys. I am so excited to start working with this. And it is going to be a shabby, chic kind of style. 
because the kit very much lends itself to that. And I had a lot of fun doing the Shabby Chic for the Show Some Style collaboration. So let's just jump into it, okay? So, okay, so what are we going to be doing today? <clears throat> I have gone ahead and I have cut out all of my ephemera. Fabulous! I haven't done the fussy cutting or anything yet, just yet. <laughs> but I have the ephemera cut out, okay? So I want to work with some tags today. And I'm going to do one very simple project here with these ones. As you can see, I have left these um, all attached. I've just cut around the outside of all four and left them attached like so. And this idea simply came about because of the, the nature of these tags. The fact that they're doubled like this. Two tags with one piece of ephemera. Now, they can obviously be used separately and just um, decorate it up as separate tags and this just provides a nice background but because of the way they were done I came up with an idea so I left them all um, attached like so and what we're going to do we're going to take our pieces fold or turn it over fold them in half like so now I've already pre-folded these just <laughs> fold them in half so this is what we have okay and then we're going to take the top one here and fold it back on itself and then we're going to fold it over and we're going to do the same thing here, okay? Now, you will notice that I have not backed my tags <laughs> because I'm a bit silly like that. But if, you, um, if you're following along with this tutorial and you want to make this, I would suggest possibly backing these with one of the background sheets in the kit. But because I haven't done that, I am just going to get one of the sheets from the kit and I'm going to back it onto this, get it all cut out and I'll be back to you guys, okay? Okay, so I have covered my piece in one of the actual kit pages. Um, these were some misprints, well I say misprints, they weren't quite misprints, I was playing with my new printer trying to figure out the right settings. So the colours are slightly off on this one, but not so bad that it can't be used. So I've just used it on the back of those tags and it just worked out perfectly that this beautiful lady um, ends up on the front of my piece when I have it all folded up. Okay, so she is going to look beautiful and then the back is nicely decorated as well with those beautiful, beautiful roses. Okay, these parts are not going to be seen, although that would make a nice journaling spot, wouldn't it? Oh no! <laughs> I'm going off piece here now because this is not supposed to be seen. <laughs> hmm, what to do, what to do. Yeah, okay, oh, we're gonna go with the original plan. Okay, so the next thing we need to do, we want to get this glued up. Okay, so I am gluing here along the top and along the bottom, leaving the side open as a pocket. So, we need some glue. I am so looking forward to these projects, working with this kit and doing a full-on shabby chic um, style project with them. Uh, I really kind of got the bug with that collaboration video we did. So yeah, so looking forward to it. And it's so, um, such a summery theme as well, isn't it? Or a style, I should say. Shabby chic, it's all light and pretty and oh, love it. Love it. So, we have our glue on there, going to smear that out a little bit, don't want it coming up inside the pocket too much. Make sure it goes right to the edges and get that closed over. This is such a simple project you guys, but it has big impact in a journal, you know. Okay, I've made kind of things something similar to these before, but not quite the same. So in the back then we have that as a little pocket and we're going to pop something cute in there but we need to decorate. Okay so I am actually using the cover sheet that came with the kit. This is such a brilliant idea and this actually did come, this idea came from Rach over at Rachel Bella Crafts. I'm, I'm not going to lie, it is totally her idea and I stole it a little bit. Just a little bit, but it is such a fantastic idea and um, you get all these little extra pieces to work with. And because that little border is there, I'm wondering should that be at the top or should it be at the bottom? Of course it doesn't have to be there, we could cut it off, but it's there, so, you know. I'm going to get my sizing here, very simply. 
the simplest way possible. Drop that off there. That's that. Do we want it quite that high? Maybe not. We'll take a little bit off the top. And there we have a bucket. So cute. Now, you may notice that I haven't been inking. And that's because I'm very undecided as to what I want to do with the inking. Um, when I was working on that last Shabby Chic project, I found that I really, really wanted whites and really brights and all the rest of that. So I'm hesitating with inking anything with things like Vintage Photo or anything like that. Because I just, I know that that will take the look of what I'm trying to do away. Now, I am considering using antique linen. But I'm, I'm kind of hesitating with that as well. Will it just make things look too yellow? And then I, I obviously have the blues and the pinks. So, yeah, hesitating. <laughs> Help me out here, guys. What should I do? <laughs> what I don't want is white edges on the paper. It just looks unfinished. I think I'll go with this for now, just really on the edges of the paper to hide the white. And we shall see more after that. Okay, so let's get my lovely new dauber from the fabulous Linda. Okay, so that already looks better to me, but without looking kind of dirty. So let's get this bit inked. See how we feel about that. Just takes that really raw look off it. Okay, so I'm happy with that. That's fine. Okay, so let's get our pocket into place there. Okay, so we have a pocket in place, hooray! And on the other side, I think we'll use one of the pieces of ephemera from the freebie page, well, the piece of tiny ephemera. And I'm looking at this lady up here with the harp. She's sitting under a tree with her harp. So that would work well with the whole under the apple tree graphic. Let's see if she works. This kit is really making me think of summer and summer activities and oh, just a sultry days lazing around. I love it. I always feel better in summer anyway. I think most of us do, to be honest. I'd like her to sit just here in the corner and be a little tuck. So let's get her glued down. Okay, tiny bit of ink on that. There we go. Perfect. So we have the pocket and we have the tuck and we have a pocket in here. So let's go on to the back page and let's see what we want to do in here. I'm thinking to put one of the little corner pockets from the kit down here. Obviously it will need to be um, trimmed here at this side and I'm thinking I might trim a little piece off of here too. So let's do that. And I think I want to actually cut it down at this side as well. I don't want to completely hide those roses. So, And that is one of the beauties of working with Digital Kit guys. You can print these pieces as many times as you like, so feel free to chop them up and, and do things with them that, you know, suit you. If it suits you to chop down a pocket, chop it down. Don't be afraid to do that. Okay, I'm going to chop that off there. going to mite this corner here so it's not sticking up. Let's see how that looks. Wonderful. Yeah, I like that. Very cute. And uh, we've got our glue on. Get that popped into place. Oh, this is turning out so cute. Love it. Here we go. Working with these images is really making me yearn for summer now. It really is. Um, I'm so looking forward to the retreat as well in Wales. I mean, it's the perfect time of year for me. Uh, it's actually just the week after my birthday. Woo! <laughs> But uh, right smack bang in the middle of summer in the Welsh countryside. I mean, what could be better? I'm so looking forward. If you don't actually know about the retreat already, Rachel from Rich and Bella Crafts is running a crafting retreat in June. Um, she's actually running another one in, I think it's October. Uh, but the one in June is being held in a, a converted farmhouse in the middle of the Welsh countryside. It is going to be beautiful. I've seen pictures of the farmhouse, though. It is... Um, absolutely stunning it's got like 
ping pong tables and hot tubs and all sorts of things. There's lots of different breakout spaces. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm so looking forward to going. Um, but yeah, it's, go it's, it's really kind. Of, it's going to be the highlight of my summer, that's for sure. And so many fantastic people going as well. Angela Kerr is going. I'm so nervous. And Kerry the Crafter. Oh, so nervous. <laughs> but it's going to be awesome to meet them as well. So, yeah. So looking forward to that. There are actually still a few places left as well, guys, if you're interested in going. If you hadn't heard about it and you really want to go, contact Rachel. I will, um, I will, I'll actually put the poster for the, the retreat at the end of the video and you'll be able to contact Rachel and inquire about places and prices and things like that. But yeah, it's, it's going to be awesome. Uh, it's going to be the highlight of the summer for sure. It's the craft in the crafting world, I think. I'm thinking I want that little girl down here, but I don't want to cover up my rose. No, I could put her over here, but I don't want to do that either. Okay, now we do have this little girl. She looks fabulous there. What do you guys think? Should I just give up the rose? I mean, there are flowers on this as well. I think I'm going to go for that. Okay. Okay. So there we have all the pockets in. We have one, two, three, four, five pockets in this one piece so far. We could put a pocket on the back. I'm not sure I want to do that just yet, but oh, let's have a look at decorating. Okay. Okay, so what is shabby chic without some lace and some bling? Not much, let me tell you. Okay, I have pulled out this little piece of lace to go across the bottom have this flower I want to go in the center and I'm gonna put some bling on as well so let's get sticking those down and I want some bling now I have here some very very blingy bits but these are the ones I want to use oh no <laughs> okay I think we're having lots of bling <laughs> I have lots of really pretty blingy bits here I have to say that's a lovely heart that could work nicely in there but it's a bit too much for me. Um, we have just, I'm going to use just a nice little round diamante piece in the center, but I have these very pretty iridescent ones, so I want to use one of those. I, I, I'm gonna have to find a balance for myself with this. Um, I'm really not the full on type of girl. Now that could work nicely. Yeah, that looks about perfect to me. Just a nice little glimmer of bling in there. I like that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to leave her as is for now. I do think she needs something else, but it's not coming to me right now. Sometimes we struggle with those kind of things, don't we? Finishing the piece can be difficult sometimes. And let's have a look at these pieces. So we definitely want something down here and I've brought in some pinks on this corner here so I want to kind of bring that down if possible. So I'm not going to use one of these flowers but I just want to see, yeah I think something like that would work perfectly. Of course I could use one of those flowers and have it be kind of continuing on from the front. Might be an idea but let's have a look at some of our kit pieces have this flower here that might work really nicely now with these um fussy cuts i've given um they can be used like stickers where you leave the white piece around the edge or you can cut right up to the edge it's entirely up to you uh i just wanted to give you guys some options I will cut closer to the edge, but not right up to the edge either. That's just how I do it. Not always. Sometimes I, I do go right up to the edge. And if I do it this way sometimes and put it down on the piece that I'm working on, I don't like the white edge, I'll just pick it back up and cut it right to the edge of the image. You know, we have options. Options, I tell you. Which is always good. like that there and I'm going to put this label down as well. I might put some lace behind that. This label says barefoot. I did have another one cut out but I've lost it. 
<laughs> but I do kind of fancy that she's barefoot under her dresses so you know <laughs> it works uh, it's one of my favourite things actually going barefoot I love it so bad for the skin on your feet I mean it gets really tough and dry and all the rest but if you look after your feet it's fine and it's really really good for you barefoot um, especially if you're walking in grass and things like that really good for you okay so let's get those stuck down there and do I want some lace as well because it's shabby chic we have to have lace on all of the things mm. so we could do something like that yeah that looks pretty just cover the whole thing with it leave that little border at the bottom and have that yeah I'm liking that well that was easy so let's get that stuck down oh it's so pretty ah oh, love it Pretty, pretty, pretty. I'm, s I can see myself just saying that for every video <laughs> coming up. Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> I just get carried away with myself. Okay, that's that. Get our flower down. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Now, before we go any further here, I was thinking about putting some lace here as a topper. Get out our trusty little tabby punch and I'm going to do it from this side because I'll get distracted by this otherwise. <laughs> so I was thinking about using this. And putting a piece of lace through there, something like that. Although it does look a bit funny coming out the top of her head, so <laughs> maybe not. Let's try something a little different. <laughs> oh, it's a bit too frivolous for her. She's a bit of a serious kind of a lady, isn't she? <laughs> and no matter what I put on there, it's going to look like it's coming out the top of her head. Okay, these are the things that we deal with. Okay, I'm going to leave that off for now. I will figure something out for that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, I have decided that we need another top down here. Another kind of pockety bit. So I am going to use this offcut from the piece I used to cover the, the tags. I'm going to get my fold line. Cut that down. Very simply like so I don't want it the same height as that pocket I just want a little tiny kind of tuck spot down here okay and this piece is just it looks like book page it could be done with book page so to give a bit of strength to this pocket I'm not going to cut these pieces off I'm going to fold them over because this is just paper so I'm just going to use my Ooh, for that. Pop that in here. And I'm going to take one of our tiny ephemera pieces again. Get that one cut out. There's one of a little girl here. She is, what is she doing? I think she's doing some needlework. She's very pretty. And I'm going to get her on there. But I think I'm going to... Put that down just a little bit and cut it in just a little bit. I'm just going to put her on there and we also have this lovely border piece from the kit. And I'm going to put that down there too. Okay. So we have a piece of the border, one of our teeny tiny ephemera pieces and I'm just going to get those situated there like so so we have another pretty pretty pocket down there She's a little bit. There we go. okay so I am going to I found my narrow lace <laughs> I'm going to put a strip of that across the bottom to finish that off just like so okay so the next thing I want to do I want to 
make a little card to go in here into our secret pocket. Okay, so for that, I am going to use one of the photographs from the kit. Perfect, and it fits inside, very, very hidden. You wouldn't even know it was there. Awesome, but we're not gonna just put it in like that. We want, first of all, probably to back it. So I am going to get this back onto this beautiful page. This is from the freebies. So I'm going to, I'm just going to lay it down willy-nilly. I'm just going to uh, take off the edges first. And I will probably keep it towards the top of the page so that there will be some writing space on the back. Okay. So there we have a beautiful backing on our journal card. Yeah. And that is so easy to write on as well. It's got a touch of flowers down here. It's got all the pinks and blues. Love it. And we have this beautiful lady on the front. Now, for her, do we want some lace? I think we kind of have to, don't we? It is shabby chic. Where do we want the lace? I think I might give her some lace corners. Let's see. Yeah, so for her, I'm going to get some lace corners stuck down. I think that's going to be so pretty. Um, trying to keep this all very flat because she's going into such a tight pocket. But there are still things we can do to put her up. I'm just trying to have this <coughs> a little bit even. It doesn't have to be perfect. But I would like it to be some way even. I'm going to try and make sure that the glue goes all the way to the edge, if possible. So that she's not getting caught when she goes in and out. And I'm going to do that on all four corners. Let's get this trimmed out so you can see what it'll look like. So she'll have little lace corners like that all the way around. It's going to be pretty. Like, <coughs> like so. And I think that will be very pretty. And I do also think that because I used that lace there, I may use that for the little tab as well. Just to keep it as delicate as the rest of it. Oh, I really like that idea. I think that's really sweet. Very cute. Okay. So let's get a little bit of this. I mean, I could use this. And I think I will use that. Just like that. And it has the nice scalloped edge on the other side. To make it pretty. And when that goes into the little pocket, all that you will see, I'm not going to leave this in here because it's still wet, but all you will see is that little tab coming out the side. Okay. Love it. Okay, so all those pieces are stuck on and I have gone and I have run a stitch down over our lace. It's white on the back and pink on the front and that just adds a little shabby detail. Not too much, just enough. We pop her in there. Ah, oh, I love it. Love it. You would never, never know there's a secret journaling spot in there. Okay. So, let's get some bits and pieces in here. I may do something with the back, not 100% sure yet, but let's get some bits and pieces in here first. Now, I have decided that I'm going to actually glue this piece down, okay? And I also want to put a little something under it, almost like it's a cluster. So, I have a ticket here. I think, as far as I know, this is from Rich and Bella Crafts Welsh Ephemera Kit. So, I'm just going to snip that in half. And I'm going to slip it underneath before I glue it down. Slightly cattywampus, just so that it has that little bit of pink coming out. And get the other bit glued down. I'm not going to worry too much about it being perfectly glued, but just going to get some glue along the edges. Just because of the way we did it, or the way I did it, <laughs> to begin with. And then change my mind, of course, as you do. Okay. Just like that. So she becomes a little bit of decoration instead of a tuck, which is fine. 
we have plenty of talks and pockets and things going on down there okay so let's get some stuff into pockets oh, oh, oh. so I have like I said done all of the tags and things like that in half sizes so I printed two to a page to get them 50% of the size so I'm just looking through here wondering will these ones fit and they might just do so I think I'll put her in here let's see what she looks like one of the things I love about this kit actually is that a lot of the pages and the pieces can be used in different um, journals I mean while they all work together as one kit they can be integrated into so many different journals oh yes that's perfect size perfect size look at that oh awesome so let's find something for in here okay so I'm going to do a little cluster down here instead of just leaving that pocket plain I do kind of really like that I just want a piece of lace to go under there just like so. Do I even want that much lace? Yeah, I'm actually going to leave it. It's shabby chic. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Oh my goodness, I, I really need to train myself into the sh whole shabby thing. <laughs> I want it all to be perfect and neat. And, uh. Okay, so I like that. Yeah, let's get it down before I change my mind. <laughs> so lots and lots of little pieces fitting in there. Fabulous. Fabulous. And on the back, I wasn't sure whether I was going to do something on the back or not, but I think a piece of this lace would look fabulous down here as a little tuck. Which side? Yeah, I like that. So I'm going to put it down over those roses and I am going to just glue it on three sides. Leave it as a little tuck. We might tuck something in there. It's love it. I'm just gonna trim it off like so and like so at the bottom. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And I think that just kind of adds that little something that I was looking for. Okay. And all I want to go in there is some, just just another tag, I think. I don't think I'm going to um, go too OTT with that. And I think I'm going to use this lady. And she will pop in there like that. Ah, oh, I love it. Okay. So that is that guys I'm going to I'm actually going to find some just some satin ribbon or something to go in there I can't put my hand to it right now but I will find something to go in there but that is that it is a little tag booklet ephemera holder I guess because there's lots of ephemera in there where the secret hidden pocket ah okay so I hope you guys are liking the shabby I hope you will come and craft along with me I hope that you will also go over to the Rachel Bella uh, the Junk Journal Trading Post with Rachel and Bella Crafts Facebook group. Obviously will be linked below as well. And play with us. Come play with us. Now I know Rachel has a kit coming out this month as well. And as far as I know, from what I've been hearing, it is going to coordinate with this kit. It will, they'll all work together. So that's exciting. Uh, I haven't quite seen it yet, but I'm sure it's coming out today, maybe tomorrow. Um, when it does come out, I will link it below the video as, along with my own kit, um, Simple Pleasures, available on Etsy. And it is 30% off this month. And don't forget to go and catch your freebies over on Kofi, guys. Okay, so that is it for me for today. This is going to be one of the challenges for the Facebook group event. You don't have to use, obviously, the same tags that I've used, but you can make your own, just four tags in a row, that kind of thing. Um, and make your little booklet ephemera holder tag booklet with a secret pocket <laughs> okay guys that is it for me for today i will talk to you all very very soon in the next video bye